GH1 TV, your best experience. Rated 18. excited about how extroverted I was, yes. mm -hmm. how all over the place, seemingly, I was at the time. You know, then they wouldn't even notice that for what you are purposed to do, mm -hmm. your character comes with it naturally. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know? Yes. yes. So I, I was always a border for yeah. But she wasn't even so. doing the clubbing. I with wasn't. Her. Yeah. And even that was not enough. I mean, I'm still at a place where... <laughs> When I dressed up, you know, when I was coming to work, I dressed up and it's like, hey, so is that my daughter? Because I'm wearing mm -hmm. brown hair and all of that. And then says, I will come back to the factory settings. <laughs> 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 Hello, um, my name is Jill. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Nancy. And I since we were four in the So now yeah. she's mine. <laughs> On the occasion of her four old. Wow. I want to say congratulations. Wow. I'm proud of you, the woman you've become, uh, going for what you want and being awesome at it. Happy birthday, my dear. My friend God from Nesri once. And my dedication is a doctor. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be a large attorney. I'm going to be all that he wants you to be. I'm going to be able to do Read, um, readers or new, newscasters are very good um, with English because oh, yeah. they are actually reading actually... the script it's in English. English. English yes. So they are talented. Yeah. They are. Extremely. <laughs> oh, today.
Fabulosity. Mm. That is lovely. One. Okay, so Miss Nancy, we mm -hmm. all call you Style Coach. Mm. Yeah. And for so many years, especially we who are in the media, she'll watch you at home, come and say, you know, Kweku, if you wear in a white shirt <laughs> and your shirt should stick, Yes. And, oh my, you are truly a star coach. Yes. Thank you. And listening to you from in a studio, I think you've impacted a lot of lives. Mm. Kumasi, you needed her, but Akra needed her better. <laughs> and we are grateful. Thank you. Fabulous oh. 40. Mm. For all of you out there from today, from tonight, the gifts should start flowing. Yay. And I know my general manager. <laughs> Is waiting to to shower you with more. Nana Ben parties, Nana trust ben her. Coming. So, because this is beautiful. You would hold it mm. and say something small, and mm -hmm. then she would also say something small, and Thank then you. I would. Thank but you. From today, the surprises are more. They should. They should come. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, I think that the word fabulous truly describes who you are. Oh. And um, you know, at forty, you look. Uh, beautiful and you know 40 looks good on you mm. and we are proud to call you family yeah and um we, we will all celebrate you in grand style yeah um yeah. you yeah. know thank you thank you thank you so much and you're uh welcome. yes you're darling so oh. to say something. Are you <laughs> La lady in red what, yeah. What, yeah. What, okay what is written on it mm -hmm. fabulous 40 fabulous 40 mm -hmm. i hope thoughts of me makes you smile oh, yeah. i hope your experience with me is healthy and tasty as chocolate <laughs> your experience chocolate. with me should be healthy and tasty i yes. i just hope that that's what i've been yeah, uh, to the people I that i love a new name for you from now uh -huh. chocolate baby Hey, Nancy chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. There's more Thank to you. happen tonight, so mm -hmm. we won't excuse you, but we'll play yeah. one song for you before we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so can I sit like your queen and enjoy? Yes, we should. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. For your show, that's. <laughs> no, no, no. Lady Red. Who was your best friend in St. Monica's? Do you still remember her? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, when we were in Form 1, my best, it changed along the line. Of course, it definitely does. <laughs> My best friend was called Ivonne Opoku. Hmm. Okay. Nanecha Opoku, she attends Power Chapel at the Sea of Wai Kubasi. And, uh, you know, Ivonne was quite exposed and uh, a bit older than mm -hmm. I. And so we went for vacation, a form one third time. And then I had met this guy who was <laughs> really, really into me. I was still a virgin. And then uh, this guy took me out and when... Uh, we were done eating and everything. He hugged me and he kissed my ear. I mean, <laughs> and you know, I had goosebumps and it was the most romantic thing I had ever done. And I went to school and I told Yvonne, that Yvonne, can you believe that this guy actually kissed my ears? That became your nickname. Oh, and yeah. this girl told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, was my what? biggest <laughs> secret. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were laughing at me. I never really forgave Yvonne. <laughs> I come from a very religious Christian home. Right. I mean, the kind of home that uh, we will beat the fear of the Lord into <laughs> you, mm. whether you like it or yes. Mm. I mean, when we were working, uh, Helena would tell you that well, by the time I closed, my dad's car would be there picking yes. me up. Really? You don't yes. have the space nor the time to fool because mm. I was still very young mm. when I had the opportunity to work and school mm. at the same time. But I had a mother, God rest her soul. Today is my mother's birthday. Oh. God rest her soul. I'm sure she's uh, smiling yeah. <laughs> all over me. And uh, she was a sweet woman, um, very elegant woman. 
very classic woman. So, Miss Nancy, you went to Munche, yes, in one yes, time. Yes, yes, I did. How will your mates remember you? Oh, I think that they would remember me in chapel and they would remember me at entertainment for two reasons. In chapel, I used to sing. And at entertainment, I was uh, emceeing. So right through church, I had a microphone into JHS, primary school. Every time that people gathered to look at children, I was part of the ones they were looking at. I went to SHS from SS1. Anytime there was anything or anybody to talk, I would be called upon. So they know that I was a speaker. I have always been holding the microphone. The microphone loves me, and I had great, great, great experiences at, at St. Monica's. It's one of the finest schools to groom your girl child. This is a lesson for the gentlemen well, that really sorry about appearances that. can be quite deceptive. Yeah. Mm. Yes, and just because you think somebody looks like a certain it's way certain doesn't yeah. mean they really got, are. Uh, there was a, a doctor, I mean, a PhD lecturer at Gempa who was like, when you see her old pictures, she had the, be uh, the belly buttons, she had yeah. all the piercings mm -hmm. and all of that. She's lecturing now at Kemper. She has straight A's, even though she was laying and clubbing at the same time, mm -hmm. she was intelligent. So mm. you just do not take people on, get size. closer to yeah. people. Luckily mm -hmm. for me, my dad wouldn't even know. I remember that the first time I had my double pierce, mm. <laughs> I had to wear braids mm -hmm. to cover it big for like two weeks, mm -hmm. two months to get it to heal, because if my dad saw it, the earring was going to come out. So who kind. was your first heartbreak? Well, sweet mm. sixteen, you went ahead to fall in love again, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first heartbreak? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was my cousin, a family friend who actually grabbed my boo like <laughs> I, I didn't exist. <laughs> She's a UK right now. I hope she's watching. Yeah, okay. we're like church girls. You know how mm -hmm. church girls, we close, we go, no, could you cry now? So could you cry? This girl grabbed my man like no one's business. So I think and that was... She, how old were and you? And she knew, you know, the guy was your guy. She was even in a relationship when we were also trying to, you know, it was a family friends thing. Yeah. Okay. So where the parents all are like, okay, aware that hoping aware. that... It would end that way. Yeah. Yes, and then. Uh, and you were into, into the know. guy as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How old so, were you? so for me, it's friendship and commitment that develops into love. Yes. Yeah. I'm not too much of a person of. Uh, I saw him in and first it, sight, and I know. So you never, you've never, you know, liked anybody on first sight. No, 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 no. You know, I may find you side. interesting, but we'd have to develop it from there, get closer, and all that for me to fall in love. Yeah. My family is important to me. Yeah. I care about my family. I care about my you friends. You really care about your friends, yes. yes. I care about my friends. Mm -hmm. And that's how come mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, n it's not easy for me to say somebody is my friend. friend. Because yeah. it comes to with a response. <laughs>
She's a great actress and she's also a great TV presenter. She's an entrepreneur and her name, you know her as Victoria Lebene. Mrs. Nkansa is the one and I'm <laughs> delighted to have you on Duvet, girl. Ooh. How long have I been trying to get you on the oh show? Oh my goodness, <laughs> for so long. For so it long. has been and Good finally... Evening. Is it you that released yourself or husband released you or management released you? Everyone. Everyone just said, hey, girl, go have some good it's time. time. Yes. It's time. It's time. And you are intelligent and beautiful. And Thank those you. are the people we host on Duvet. We Thank just you. don't call people. We call you them. You are the madame. <laughs> we just don't call people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at you. And, and, and actually handsome, too. Oh, yes. my God. Stop oh. it. <laughs> Foster Romano. <laughs> allow me to introduce him he jumped into the conversation and that is what you're going to get tonight we're going to get him to speak as a man and also as a comedian a little laughter would do us all so much good within it so sex on the first date is what we're discussing and you know if you want something to lick lick on something to suck suck on i tell you that beyond human beings if you want to mm. satisfy your cravings eat something sweet and i always recommend go slow for you go slow is premium ice cream all over ghana go get it and it's that ice cream that you can only eat on another person's body i don't know which part of the body you would want to eat it from but uh, that that thought alone excites me what makes a great first date vicky before you became Mrs. Nkansa, Mrs. you are uh, going Mrs. Kokonsa, <laughs> right? <laughs> How you doing? I hope you're watching <laughs> your beautiful wife and enjoying her. So before that, you used to get to know people. When anybody met you and wanted to know more about you, you would definitely want to hang out, drink something, little bites, and then talk so that he gets to know you. Yes. And uh, how would you, what would you call a great first date? Okay. Well, first of all, before I say anything, let me say hello to our viewers. Yeah, hello. hi back, I'm sure they said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, first, um, what makes a great date, right? Yes, first date. Yes, the, the conversation. Mm. You know, the conversation should be um, something worthwhile, mm. something memorable. Yeah. You know, that I can go back and say, oh, that was that was a deep one there. I'm a very deep person. Mm. So I like that whatever time I'm spending. Very deep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you crying? Oh, look at you. Whatever time I'm oh. spending with, with you, yeah. I mean, we should talk, get mm. to know things, understand what we're about mm. so that, you know, getting to know each other will be very easy. So, yeah. so, so for a conversation, this is for the gentlemen that are trying to have first dates to know mm -hmm. exactly what to do for a sophisticated uh, woman like you. What kind of conversation do you, I read something on social media where the man was saying that the woman should know a little bit of science and oh, biology no. and whatever oh, to no. deserve a man like him. When you say a deep conversation, is it about life? Is it about yes. what would you want to discuss on the first Deep date? conversation. Um, how do we want this? Do mm. we like each other first of all? Mm -hmm. Do we, um, is it just a fling? Can we just, you know, let's be realistic mm. to each other mm. so that we know how to, you know, Go about it. You, you know, yes. let's be truthful. Are we just going to have a little fling? fling? Yeah, you're, you're still my friend. I can call on you anytime. We can have conversations. So you expect and we're just that on the fun. first date, a man would let you know that, hey, I'm in for something serious or yes. I just or wanna... I just want to have fun. Good. That's from a lady's point of view. First, uh, when you say that I went out on a first date with Miss Nancy, and guys, that was awesome. I had a great time. Tell me what you would want to see, well, what you would want to experience, what you would want to hear. Well, first of all, before a guy actually asks you on a date, that means that there is an interest. Okay. So, uh, to what makes a date interesting means that there should be something beyond just your presence mm -hmm. so it means that like she said conversation if if the conversation is going to be real you, you're going to feel like okay this person is actually speaking from within mm -hmm. and it's exciting it's not boring it's not like close-ended answers but it's open-ended where you can chip in add more mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. it makes it great because then you realize that okay this person is actually interested in a personality like me or actually is 
liking or having fun being with me. So for me, what what will make a first a great first date? Yes, will be the conversation. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's going to be a first. Do you mind if a woman dresses up for you or she doesn't? I was speaking to a friend of mine uh, way back in the U.S. Uh, about a month ago, and he had an issue mm. that his lady went out on a date with him wearing sneakers i mean he says wow. yeah dress up and she wore sneakers which, which, which and a skimpy that? little dress he should be he should be happy and grateful because then the, the lady is sneakers trying to nice. be real with him yeah because then you don't want someone coming to, on a date to, for a date or whatever with you and the person is pretending hiding you understand so if this person comes and is on a high heel you know with all the lipstick etc but in real life this person even hates makeup mm -hmm. what would you do so that is the first date actually sets the pace yeah. that actually determines whether we'll go further or that's that last mm -hmm. time we are meeting mm -hmm. or this one there i go try get one be inside and then maybe may get in. exactly so if the person comes and the person comes as she is and is real with you i think you should be grateful for that vicky before you became mrs and cancer yeah. did you ever go out on the first date with no makeup and sneakers or flip -flops. Get away. Uh, <laughs> no, wait, wait. It depends on the the occasion. Yeah, that's yeah. How, she how, she how, like she how, it's a first date. It's a first date. It's a first date. The first time ever you I'm meeting. You are ever sitting with a person okay. to look into his eyes and have him looking. Would you actually go without eyelashes? Wait, wait. I don't, I don't even flirts. remember. Okay, well, it, it, was uh, on, it was on radio. So, you know, when you're, when you're going out, you do makeup and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, so... The first time you met him was I on radio. Look good. Yes. The first time he saw you was on radio. Yes. You went for an mm. interview. No, it wasn't an interview. I was on on air on OKFM. Okay, okay. and yeah, he came with into Abeku the studio. Santana. Yes. And he saw so you. So normally I'm all looking nice. Glammed, of course. I know you. <laughs> yes. So definitely, I would want to look good. Yeah. yeah. That's because she likes to wear makeup. Yeah. But some, she likes some, to look some good. Ladies most do some some, some, some yeah. people don't like makeup. Yes. So it's fine if you don't like it. I mean. It depends on who you are, mm -hmm. the setting, where you're going to meet the, this person, how you're going to be, you know, how, how, what's the perception you have mm -hmm. in mind mm -hmm. to meet this person? Foster. Hi, darling. You meet me on a first date, mm -hmm. and I look into your eyes and I tell you, that guy, I'd want us to make out tonight. You'll be make excited. Out. Make out? Say mm -hmm. yes. I want you. I feel like having all of you. I don't mind. Hey, take it easy. I, I can just have great sex with you. I want to have sex with you. I'm the lady. You are the man. Your first date. How would you feel? Who we'll have the sex? Ah, <laughs> for that. Who we'll have it? <laughs> why, why am I asking? You? I, I mean, I'm even praying that you ask and you've asked. Oh, because now I'm thinking of how to ask for the thing, and you have brought it. Who we'll have it? But that would be the last time we we'll meet. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. why? Oh, yeah, of course. You see, that's the problem. So, that's tell where me, it all starts. if a woman comes strongly at you mm -hmm. and you make love or have sex on the first date, yeah. why would it have to be the last time? Because, you see, th that tells me that this person has ah, no value gosh. for sex. Okay. You understand? Because mm. sex is not just sex. Mm. Sex, there are a lot to sex that yes. we know we say. Yeah. Yes. So, if it's just sex then it means that there are a lot of questions that are unanswered mm -hmm. you understand it could be that um is it so i call bet on me that okay no afterwards mm -hmm. it, there'll be a text and i mean I I have for, for, for a public figure exactly like yeah. you, coming from that those things area, will come there. to your mind and then why 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 on the first date mm -hmm. i mean i i, 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 I she so cannot wait. wait let's get to know each other because i, I, I the value for are you two. sure you are speaking for the brothers oh yes well you know <laughs> it for looks the like brothers, it's really clean like for instance for instance if like lebine before she was married uh -huh. you know, i mean i go on a date and she says yo let's do it on the face of course you're going to do it she's a pretty girl who would do it well but then i'll be walking in town assuming that uh, yeah, every other why. date he goes yeah, she goes on we'll in my that. happy so hmm. even if we're dating and she tells oh a friend of mine wants us to go have a drink <laughs> i i ain't gonna believe that either i go with you i tap your phone or i put a tracking device on you just to know <laughs> where you are at what time because it will so, be so, hard so, to so faster L let me let me come back to mm -hmm. you if you asked you the man mm -hmm. you made advances yeah mm -hmm. and she says oh, fine 
I will give it to you, and she mm. gives it to you. Would you still feel the same way? We'll still do it, and that'll be the last time we meet. Wow. You're telling us the truth. Vicky! Yay. <laughs> for a woman, yeah. you go out on a first date, and he looks into your eyes and says, God, you're beautiful. I'd want to see you naked. I'd want to lick you. Mm. I'd want to suck you. Let toes. me see that. Let me see that. I'd, oh, I'd want to kiss you. him between your thighs. Ooh. Vicky, can I, can I hold you? Can I suck on those beautiful breasts of yours? Mm. <laughs> okay, you want me to answer this? Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> well, for me, I wouldn't be looking for sex on, on a very date. first day. I actually want to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. So immediately you come up to me like that, I feel like, okay, you're in for a fling and not anything serious. So... We're just going to end up getting to know each other. You may want to, you know, still make advances and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'll try to, you know, hold my pace. Because okay. So I you would know want to I'm hear these for. things, but you wouldn't want to act on them. Would you feel offended if a man came to you that strongly, like I just did? I mean, that, hey, this is it. It's our first date, but I want to have sex with you. Yeah, I, I think that would be very offensive. It means the person has actually sexualized you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In his mind. In his mind. That's all he wants. And, and that's like totally a no-no for me. Also, I mean, they sexualize us all the time. We just don't have to know, right? Yeah. Oh, we do. We just don't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't have to know. You just oh, yeah, don't have yeah. to know. Yeah. There, there's a right time for that. So, 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 so you both agree that uh, first date sex is not ideal? Um, first but, date it goes sex. You. It goes super oh, yes. Yeah. Like, it goes Haven't wrong. you heard of first date sex that ended up in marriages? Who and does? people that kept well, on watching and I praying? I have my eyes, so... I, 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 me, me, me to be here. When I meet one, how are you going can, to meet one? No, no, well, it happens. How? Like a you're friend, married it happens now, you're going to a friend. Meet it. Where? No, yeah. she's talking about context. stories. Uh -huh. Stories that None people have friends. shared. Yeah. yeah, I've not heard anything of that sort. That a friend, maybe the, a date sex ended up in marriage. I, I think I've heard of be that. that. Well, our viewers, mm -hmm. if you're live with us on Facebook, I'm excited that you are. Let's have the conversation, guys. If she comes on strongly, Probably not with words, but with actions. I mean, what is a woman's business having her hands in between your legs if she doesn't intend to do something with it on a first date? If she says it, what would you do? If you ask for it and she actually says, I've been waiting for you to ask man have me, would you have her or would you be discouraged? Is every woman out there given sex on a first date supposed to be bad? No, necessarily. But you see, before uh, guys have certain perceptions about women, mm -hmm. so f guys feel that, and it, it's even a natural thing, not only with girls, something you get very easy, you hardly hold it. You understand? Mm -hmm. The thing came yeah. so easy mm -hmm. and... Things that you find on a silver platter, exactly. you place no value on them. Some, some yeah. of them, you mm -hmm. hardly place value mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. But then, guys, you know, guys are very adventurous. A guy feels like, you know, this thing or this woman actually is playing hard, hard to get. And, and that excites going, you. you know, it, it makes How do you like, want a 40-year-old woman who knows her left from her right mm -hmm. not to let you know that I like you or I don't? Yeah. For a forty year old woman or for a woman who has, you know, maturity a, a bit matured, has seen everything. So for her going straight at you to say, you know, hey, this is not the time for you to come, blah 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 is a different scenario okay. altogether. But for a younger for person a younger person, yes. That a, 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 a guy would want to also place some value on his girl and would mm. not want to also mm. be talking to your friends and say, oh, that's why I'm the first day I met her, no, we are <laughs> a chop and we yeah. right now with a date. I mean, think about it. There is it no self-esteem to that. Mm. But then imagine me actually bragging about my hair, the way my wife stretch me Stretchy, but, more finally uh, when you when get you have, her yeah. you know you have that um you, you, you can trust her that oh this person i don't mind who he she is with at what yes. time because if she put me through that it means that this she other person is other going to in it. the same way if i meet a lady and i have sex on the first day with imagine what she would also think about me when mm. i tell her oh i have some friend or i'm, I'm meeting some lady friends 
just to just to have some drinks. Of course, the first time I met her, I was able to do it. What is the probability that I can do it? Hmm. So, so on, uh, it's that all comes about to, trust issues, right? And also that comes to first impression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like what's the first impression meeting mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. is it, how is it like? Mm -hmm. What are you coming up to me looking like? Mm -hmm. How do you smell? Your fragrance, I mean, mm -hmm. the smell around you, your aura. In, from the very first instance, when I meet my first date, I should be able to tell the kind of person you are. Yeah. Uh huh. So, yeah. I mean, having sex on the first date or for me, asking yeah, for it, okay, or asking for it, it's it's a bit too. So, so when a person asks for it and you don't give, do you still feel you shouldn't give this person any kind of attention after that date? Um, it depends on how the person even relates towards you afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. So, bottom line, we all, I am not with you. I'm just the host of the show tonight. <laughs> I don't have an opinion and I'm making sure I don't. Yeah. So, you both agree that sex on the first date is not so is no ideal. No. But you're eventually me. going to have sex out of wedlock. Uh, so, what day are we going to I have that sex? I don't know. Yeah, but oh, that one day gives The first that. day of sex. Uh, Foster, mm -hmm. uh, give me a scenario. So, you've been dating this girl. Mm -hmm. First time you're having sex, what should that sex be? Be like, feel like, sound like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 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 you see, um, when when it, it depends on how long it took you to mm -hmm. have this. How person. long is long enough? It, it depends. <laughs> a year is long. Ninety days is long. I mean, I mean, for a man pursuing a woman mm -hmm. intending to be with her, it depends the on the woman. <laughs> Who says that a, a sex on the first date is not ideal? Mm -hmm. So how long would you wait? So some women can give you, let's say, a month, mm -hmm. six months, a year. Mm. It could be five days after the date. It depends on how you play your cards yeah. or how, you know, how, you know, the vibe is like. But then it, it should be one that, I mean, will not just be sex, but would be intimate enough to, to you know, to let the person feel that, oh, yeah, like, I really appreciate and value the fact that mm. you have uh, counted me as worthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to touch yeah. you and see you, yeah. you know, naked. Eventually. Uh, exactly. Me, I walk, I, I walk with shoulders at home as well, two, four, seven. Yeah. So it, it, it should be one that is very intimate, mm. one that is very romantic and, you know, comes with all the mm. terms and conditions, the mm and the ass. Mm -hmm. They're putting, you know, the, the, he said, what, what do we put on the body to like the... the Go ice slow cream. ice cream. You know, like ice cream. Yes, it's premium ice cream. ice cream. I love and because the, it is the, go the, slow. the cookies and cream. Okay. Vicky, the cookies and cream. Give you it see. a try. God. And because you it is go it. slow, mm -hmm. you'll be slow in coming. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and that is what people usually love. Yeah. You don't like to come early? No, when you come early, dear, it depends. If no, whilst want... we are still at it, Vicky, let's be honest with yeah. the gentleman. Don't we like it when you touch him and he's reacting to it? And you go down on him and, and he's like, his hat is almost out of his chest. And mm -hmm. before you know, no, a gym. Doesn't it make the women That's feel good? Well, well, it makes you stay. feel good and it makes you feel like you're, you're in charge. Yeah, for you us. Know, yeah, so... No, I would want to see the effect I have on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should feel that I have that kind of power over you, that you lose yourself. You cannot control yourself. You are just excited, so excited that the only thing you are looking at is climaxing. Mm -hmm. And you will climax in my mouth or on my face. Oh my Which God. one do you like? Hmm? Which one do you like? Mouth or face? Mouth. Ah! If I'm in love with you, I'd, <laughs> I'd swallow it down. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a question here. Let's have a look at it. Nana Yaden Chisi Kabo says, when a man, a man asks for sex on a first date, it looks more like disrespect. Vicky? Yeah. Does it feel like disrespect? Would you want yes. to cut a man I, I off think... because... He asked for sex on the first date. Well, let's let's see it in this manner, okay? Mm -hmm. There are different kinds of women. Mm. Some that are very sexual, you know, and don't, don't mind at all. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if you ask me. Okay. Maybe she probably had met the guy. He looks good. Yeah. You know, he smells good. Mm -hmm. And just wants to try her luck. 
There are people like that. Yeah. We don't judge them. Yeah, we don't. There are also people who frown at it. I, I feel so disrespected. There are people who frown at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it depends on where you fall on. Mm -hmm. I fall on that side. Mm -hmm. I would feel disrespected. Would you cut all connections with this person? Or it depends on how it was asked? It, it depends. We, I think we spoke about this the first yeah, instance. Yeah. yeah. It depends on how the person reacts to it. Oh, some are, maybe you should feel remorseful yeah. for doing that. You should know that there is a limit to everything, you know. So, I mean, yeah. Well, so, 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 um, that, that is a good one. But um, I have another. Yes, there is another question that I wanted to read. My question is, Bruce, Jackie, I hope I'm right. I want to know if it's wrong to make out on a first date with a man you are in a long distance relationship with for a year. So, Foster, you are in a long distance relationship mm -hmm. with. These days that people are finding love on social media. Yeah. You've been talking, chatting, he's been sliding to the DM. DM. <laughs> uh, he may have seen it all, you may have seen it all too, and he lands. Mm -hmm. He lands and yeah. you pick him up from the airport. Is that the day that you decide to... I don't even know why you won't kiss him at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that okay. kind of right love at is the nice. airport, you yeah. should let him know, yo, I mm. missed you. Mm. I kept these beautiful lips for you. For you. And is that I someone you already date? That's someone you already date? You know, yes, you're dating the person. Long you're in a long well, distance. Okay, now. Yes. Yeah, now we've let, let him know that, yes. yo, yo, bro, bring those Tonight. lips here. They are mine. I'm taking, like you said, I'm taking charge right from here. Yeah. That should tell you that when we get home, we are not even eating. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. I will welcome <laughs> you appropriately exactly. with a control veil you, left to our... You, you see what I'm talking about. Before you <laughs> open your bag, etc. So that is not wrong. Mm. That is... is for uh, somebody you've been talking to for a long mm. time, I mean, yeah, you've yeah. gotten to know the person enough. And uh, it's he all right for you to have... comfortable with the person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to you actually... Feel like, you feel like you can even talk sexual things with the person. Of, of course you, know, you would it, it goes a long way. You feel more... Year. Oh, open masem. Open masem. I open masem. So it's more of true love, true I want to get to know <laughs> you. Have you tried the ice cube? Distance, so. Have you tried the ice cube nice. kiss before? Ice cube kiss. Yes. My God. Ice cube kiss. Ice cube. Yeah. It's almost like ice cream kiss. Exactly. But this time around, mm -hmm. you, you, you lick on some ice cube so it mm -hmm. cool your lips. Yeah. The makes tongue. it so hey. cool and, you know, very... Yeah. Roman it seems to be very... Very icy. Uh-huh. you grab Experience. the hair of the... You know, and then you turn hair around like that. Mm -hmm. And then you plant that kid. Oh, mm. my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So let me read this comment. Miss Nancy... <laughs> I disagree with the man. There is nothing wrong with sex on the first date. I knew the boys would beat you, man. <laughs> okay. It's guys who are not mature that thinks that sex on the first date means the woman is cheap. After all, it would... Okay. Uh, let me... On the first date or not. Okay. So... It would happen on a first date or not. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. eventually you're going to have sex. So, yeah. it is not for, I'm sure that he's watching with his woman who probably gave it to him on, on a first, first date. date. And he has to be. <laughs> he's trying to defend himself. That's a very good one, Adam. But uh, when we come back from this break, we'll talk more about sex on a first date. Please don't go away. The all new slow indulgence. This advertisement is FDA approved. Excuse me, please hurry up. I don't have enough time. Hello. Driver, you don't have an AC in your car. 
Your tie is bad and you are here chilling. I'll bet you pony. I got a message for you. Madam. One more. Bell cast is perfect for you. Uh, refreshing. Feel the refreshing taste of Bell Fruit Cocktail in a can this festive season. With a blend of fruit extracts and flavors that hit just right. It will always do the magic on a hot steaming day. is for you. It's for Bell Fruit Cocktail. It costs so rough. Tell you. Bell Fruit Cocktail is on point. Bell Cans. Refresh in style. Another quality product from Bell Aqua. This advert is FDA approved. Bell Cans are now available on Jumia Ghana. Nivea Dry Impact and Dry Comfort Deodorant. Now with quick dry effect and longer lasting fragrance. Guaranteed to keep you feeling dry and fresh all day long. No matter the heat. Even 48 hours protection and longer lasting fragrance. With the dry range of deodorants from Nivea. Black. It's not dark. It's bright. Black is bold. Black is every color all together. <laughs> My thing, your thing, our thing mixed together. Black shines bright. Welcome back. This is Duvay on GH1 TV. My name is Miss Nancy, your style coach, your sex coach, and the author of Steve's. And tonight we're discussing sex on the first date. And I'm that person that loves spicy things. I mean, even when I wear scents, I love them spicy. When I eat, I need to taste something spicy in there. In Ghana, when we say spicy, we mean melko shishishi, is what I mean. And that is what Sasa's chili sauce is about. Sasa chili sauce is manufactured with spicy, sensational 100% ingredients like chili pepper, garlic, ginger, and other wholesome spices found right here in Ghana. It is very healthy. You can carry it along in your bag when you go to a restaurant. You can put it on your dining table when you serve your guests. When the pepper or the spice is not too much, they would add on and get the perfect taste that they need. It's a perfect blend. To add to any dish, I mean, if you're a rice person, jollof, indomie, banku, or the soups, you name it, you can just add it to it. You can get sasa chili sauce at Palace Malls, Malcolm, or any supermarket near you. For bulk purchases, 0265 228389. 0265 228389. Sasa makes life tastier. Sasa makes food spicy. Bless years. We're back in the studio with Victoria Lebanon, Mrs. Nkansa, and I also have um, Foster right here. There is a question uh, that was sent. Is it a question or a comment? Okay, so Papi Ed says, I met my wife on campus, had sex on a first date. I still married her and didn't in any day made her feel like I had her on a silver platter. Happy Ed. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yes, that will. Oh, yes. Because for, for, for some men, he knows that in a typical Ghanaian environment, it is not easy for a girl, even an exposed one, yeah. even those quote and unquote sports girls, mm -hmm. to give themselves to you on not a like first that. date. Nah, not like so that. if she does, it may have come from a place of I'm crazily in love with this person and love him at first sight. Or probably she I'm was, unable she to was deal. Sick of crab, you know, sometimes that also mm. influences the act. Mm. So, yeah, maybe, maybe. Probably she drank things. something. 
You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. What I'm saying? yeah, but they got married, which means that whatever it is that was in there, it, was it tasted and, and, good And, and that to also both means that he, he didn't just get sex. Mm -hmm. He got more than sex. Because yes. if he had gotten sex only, then he wouldn't have stayed. Oh, Mama Trina. Hey. So, Papi, you need to come back and let us know what you got yeah. more. Beyond the first date sex, what else did you find about those women that made you stay, that made you decide to make her the one? I'd love to know that. That's a very good point. Yeah. And, uh, hey, Mrs. You too. You love you on that. Worst dates. <laughs> worst dates. We are the women. Talk to us about the worst dates ever. When we want to describe the worst dates ever, what could it be? Worst day ever. Hmm. When you meet him, finally. Now, mm. yeah. Sorry. Mm. It makes you feel very uncomfortable. I said, Wait, is it, it's, are we in the bedroom now? In you mean in the bedroom? No, I'm asking if we're in the bedroom. No, on the first. When you on a first date? Yes. Okay. At what point would you say this is my worst date ever? When you meet him for the very first time and something just doesn't work for you you know it puts you off totally okay so that's like first impression kind of thing mm -hmm. have you have you ever had an experience of a very um, bad date would you want to share i i don't remember you've like been having awesome data i mean you are awesome celebrating dates. beautiful my, women. my my dates are more of like fun times let's get to know each other hey i met you yeah you mm. know mm. you know like even after the first day yeah you it's still have a very scripted. good a composure <laughs> you you have a very good composure you want to get yes. to know me more yeah you, you want to get into my business and be concerned about me mm. that's more like it mm. you know mm. Foster? It's like acting in a series. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Your worst date ever? Oh, yeah. I think I've, I've had one before. And, mm -hmm. and this is um, so, some years back. Once she was late. Mm -hmm. Two, she came mm. chewing gum. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's she the first impression gum. thing I keep saying. Dates. Ta -ta -ta -ta. You, you know, see, like, you know, that, that, you the, see. The, the, sometimes there are these pauses within yeah. the conversation. Oh, uh, recently, I wanted yeah. to do that one and post it on social media. I couldn't do it, sister. But the camera asked me, I want to blow oh, the bubble yeah. and do the ta. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, hey, tell you which thing I say. <laughs> And then, 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 I, 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 so I just she wouldn't down. drop her phone. So first of all, she was late. Very late. Secondly, she was not comported. No. She was chewing gum. Chewing gum. And then the conversations about social media, and she wouldn't drop her phone. No, not at all. So I, I was, I was surprised. I was like, ah, madam, are we here to, you know, go to our phones, or we are here to talk? But then I, I didn't say like that. But I was like, hey, this idea. I mean, and she smiled and the smile brought the balloon the she's like oh uh -huh. and, and yes i wow. don't find it <laughs> on her nose first impression and how do you come how... first impression and da 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 somebody just sent me a message that uh, the worst date was when somebody came on a date with her mother <laughs> She went ah. on the first date okay. with her mother. Okay. The girl now came that with reminds her me, mm -hmm. the most common first date wahala mm -hmm. is it's... when a guy is going to meet the guy and mm -hmm. goes with the whole hostel. The friends. girl's friends the, tagging the along. The girlfriends in the hostel. Oh. Let's go, girl. Let's go mm -hmm. milking. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's very common and popular. Mm -hmm. It's, a it's good even thing seen in you... movies mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, but that one, that Sometimes one, then... it happens though. <laughs> That if one then tells you, say, girl, no, but no, oh, no. Uh, uh, that, that, that should tell you, say, she doesn't really want it, uh, That's a first any, impression thing. It, so, it, you know, know, there are a lot, a lot of things that will make you know that this kind of... When she did it to someone. Hmm. I didn't now, to now, she did it now, to someone. Let, let's, let, let's get back to the conversation where... 
um, we're saying in that. Series. Yes. Oh, Are you yeah, guys yeah, with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, she did yeah, it yeah. to someone. Oh, in, 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 in a, a series. In yes. a series. Yeah. Yeah. She went to She's a great actress. Do you remember? Oh, I remember over there. Okay. That and film, then they made Both. <laughs> okay. Let me ask this. We say that we should not have, I mean, sex on the first date. Mm. Can we kiss? And yes. what kind of kissing? Because we we have so many types of kissing. Uh, am I getting kissed on the forehead after a first date? Thank you. Am I getting kissed on my big nose after a first date? At the back of my hand? Or probably my neck so that I can giggle small? Okay. Or, or, or where okay. am I getting kissed? On the lips? Deep? Tongue? Uh, searching? Teeth? Crushing? Girl. What kind of kissing am I getting? <laughs> Now, can I kiss? Yes. That's it. Okay. Perfect. I mean, this is the part of the, the whole uh, show that I really want to touch up because a lot of people are looking for questions. I mean, answers to, you know. So, yes, kiss. When you kiss me on, on my, at the back of my palm, uh -huh. it shows a sign of respect. Okay. For the very first time. Mm -hmm. So I said, ah, gentleman, pa. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, kiss me on the... So sorry. And then we're gentlemen. We're gentlemen. <laughs> on the forehead. I mean, all those things are, mm -hmm. are sometimes a facade, but. Oh, yeah, AFA. Do you get what I mean? AFA mm -hmm. is just a nice gesture. Just like you see someone and shake hands or greet. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. nice. Yeah. You open the door, you're a gentleman. Open mm -hmm. the door for the mm -hmm. lady. Yeah, mm. mm. fine gentleman. Uh -huh. So you're saying that we, we shouldn't And you kiss don't have to lips. fake it. If you do it, but, you are doing it. But, 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 but guys, <laughs> Foster, you, 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 you are the man here. Pastor. As far as I am concerned, mm -hmm. kissing is more intimate than sex. Yes. Yeah, super intimate. Because when I kiss you, I exchange bodily fluids with you. But I can have sex with you whilst you wear pro protection or I do. Yeah. And I don't get to exchange bodily fluids with you. Yeah. So a woman that says that I'm not going to have sex with him on the first date, but I'm going to kiss him. Can the man interpret as, listen, I'm crazy about you, but I'm just being classy about it. I want to leave you. That's it. Mm. So the, the, the kiss will tell you everything. Mm. The kiss will tell you, I enjoyed it. Mm. I want more. Mm. Let's, let's do this again. I want even more than the kiss. Or like, you know, I gave myself away. Mm -hmm. So mm. you can, can use you. me. I don't know which <laughs> Ghanaian man would take a girl on a date. Mm -hmm. And then when they get to her door front, will pull her hand and say, no, for where, for who? <laughs> It's Why? in the movie, right? When the, Usually, where does I it end up? Is a script. In fact, <laughs> I, I've been kissed. Uh, I mean, at the back of my uh, hand, yeah. a million times. That is to tell you that I don't want more. Like, uh, it's a sign of respect. I respect you. So you, you are talking coming. about mm. no. That, that's what I'm sex, saying. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Thank you. Mm. But a guy who's gone on a first date with you loved the vibe once more and actually. Even wants to have sex, mm -hmm. but is just trying to hold back so you don't see him as that is all he wants. He wants. Mm -hmm. Will want a very deep kiss. In fact, not just deep, mm -hmm. long <laughs> kiss, so that you can okay. remember. You him. understand? So, so, and in that, you get to hold each other. It's a first date. Each other. Can't you just if if you have to do my lips? Can't you just do them? Mm -hmm. And go. I said, do you have to a, open? A bit looky cheeky, like you know, I'm not interested in you. That's what that's, mwah, that's mwah. what he's first date. Yeah. Mwah, mwah. Mwah is cheeky. Mwah like a mwah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheeky. I mean, take I mean, your no, time. No. It, you it, know, if, if, if first date is he should take his time. Some people are if wiggle. You really want Some to women, kiss, if they touch your, your tongue right now, electricity passes through their body. You and see. and well, before you know, she's de-dressing. So for a, uh -huh. so you see when 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 that happens and it even leads to that. It, it, it carries some weight because then um, <laughs> uh, 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 is taking his words back. If I process, now first day to not say we shouldn't no, talk. Now that? you're saying after a kiss, if it happens, some of oh the sex, God. some of the sex, it doesn't happen like that too. Mm -hmm. There's some sex you have, you don't even kiss. Mm -hmm. What I say, I know. 
<laughs> what is it called? <laughs> I on the go. Mm-hmm. But there is that one that you know. I say, in from my friend, friend, you know. Passion, no. Yeah, no, you're passion, sir. Okay. I am to boss. I say, over here, friend, I want to try vegetables. I can. It's going through the process. So hard. The energy keeps rising. Ah, it's from one day to two. Then you can't walk on the conga. Hey, no conga. Yes, I know. Women like Victoria were best stress, stress, sir. You know. As I know, no more. Oh, how can you find a home here? It is sad. Then you realize it. Something is happening. Like, oh. oh my God! Yeah. The, 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 s- <laughs> seriously, well, let me take this comment. What of a guy you have dated but never had sex with before, but lost contact, and now you are back. You are back and meet him, and then the first day you meet him, and sex happens. Is it bad? I'm a for confess you. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Akosia is the name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that there is this thing with men that they knew you, you didn't give yourself to them, especially when you grow so beautifully. I say odiomoka, and they will be looking for you to come and collect. And yes, I say odiomoka. It's almost best to show up my work here, and doesn't necessarily mean that the person is into you. Yeah. So Akosia, it's a very tricky one. A person you knew way back. You decided not to have sex with. Currently, you know the person, you met the person again, and he kind of feels like he cannot keep his hands off you. Darling, all the fried rice, the dates, the champagne that you drank, the gifts that he gave to you, probably Obetinica. Yes, so you, you, see, you well, have there, to There's be. something about breakups. Eh? When you break up with a lady, it's like after a week or a month, that girl no one says I have pictures of posting on the status crying. I feel like, ah, is this the mm-hmm. same girl I knew? Mm-hmm. Then or the devil comes with Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> with what? Vaseline. Vaseline. Or Tiana. Hey, can you understand? Or the number one is into who hen on. Then or better so or the canoe. What's that about? Hey, girl, you have a bad dog. Oh, you have dog, you know, I mean, you have son. <laughs> <Sarah almost started. laughs> Girls, Fossa just gave you the oh. clue. Why you dog me so? Been a while, you baby. See, How are you, you doing? Dog me. Oh, no, it's you has dog me. Oh, it's you. Hey, hey so let's have a drink. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, it's all better. Mm. Girl, <laughs> so like I said, uh, Kosia, it doesn't always end well. If you didn't give it to him and he still wants you, let him put the ring on it. If you give it to him easily now, my dear, it's been a fantasy for so long. The moment he experiences it, that's just about it. Unless you're not the type that's looking for marriage. If you are looking for marriage, I guess you would have to be careful. There was another comment or question that I wanted us to look at. I had sex on a first date. I only did that because I was heartbroken and this guy I'm madly in love with and this guy is madly in love with me till now. Just that I don't feel the same. It's been two years now. To me, sex on a first date does not matter, Miss Nancy. Wow. <laughs> now there yeah, are two sides I, to this I understand. Comment. I can understand. There are two sides to this comment. Yeah. It is let, let me have uh, Victoria, okay. please. Sorry. No problem. I, I can understand that. Because sometimes when one feels really broken, you want to ease out. You want to do something. Exert some make, of the negative yeah, energy. Just to ease yourself out. Just to let you, you feel like, okay, you're not the only guy. Mm-hmm. There are people around that me. That still want me. Yeah. A, a woman feels really... When a woman feels really broken... Yeah, yeah. Mm. So they want that joy. They want to just feel like, oh, okay, payback time. Yeah. You know, Officer Ocho say, I do not want to. Uh huh. So we can understand. That's what that was what I was saying from the beginning. Oh, sure that it judge. depends. Yes, we shouldn't judge. Mm-hmm. It depends on the instance. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. the circumstance that brought about that. You know. Mm. So, how do I feel going on a first date? Do I want to go and feel good? Do I want to go and pay him back? 
Do I want to make my friend know that, hey, I, I've got a new boyfriend? Boy, just you know, when someone... it depends on what's how actually I, uh, happening in your hair. Yeah, so... And according to her, the guy is crazily in love with her, but she doesn't but feel the not. same and way. she has sex with him on the mm -hmm. first date. On and the first two date. years on, she still doesn't feel the same for And she's still with the guy? Exactly. Oh, how? What's so, the story? It, it, you are it, not in love with him, but you are still with him for two years? One no. thing about broken heart is that... Probably you feel like uh, your worth or your self esteem, your ego Depends has been broken. So, yeah. so it's just to let you feel like, oh, even if he doesn't like me or love me, another person does. Mm. So at that moment, with all the pain and in all that trauma, you feel this person actually deserves it because, mm. for you know, even as you were in the relationship, he still was showing you love and care, was yeah. kept on reminding you that I still love you. Probably he even fasted for that breakup. You never know. But because he gave you <laughs> that um, shoulder to cry on. You know, women sometimes do that. Yeah. You you try to talk to the person, be nice to the person, all of a sudden, bam, she feels like, oh, mm. she will honor man shout the dad and gives mm. it to you. They've been falling like that, eh? Oh, yeah. It happens. Like when you're trying to pamper or comfort <laughs> them, it all happens. of a sudden, their heart oh. comes to you and they are like, where have you been mm. all this while? Women, women are oh very God, I should have met your friends. <laughs> and if you are not strong in the faith praise jesus you just say, you take advantage come and take it. so mm. i feel this text message is just to you know feel okay with what she did at that mm. time even though she in a way regrets doing that i'm sure because if she doesn't then you will not say you don't feel the same way for that person after two years and you're still the person sister what are you doing there <laughs> oh well let's let's uh okay jacob says Madam Nancy, thank you for catching for stuff for me. How can he said sex on a first date is not good, but he later accepted that doing things such as kissing <laughs> will lead to it. Fuck yeah. that. You've been caught right here. <laughs> and this is Tube on JH1 TV. We're having a great time discussing sex on first dates, people. Do not go away. When I come back, I give you more. The only use slow indulgence. This advertisement is FDA approved. Bell Beverages just made 2022 a lot more exciting with a Bell Chill and Win promotion. Simply buy bottles of your favorite Bell Beverages products like Tamarinda, Bell Cola, Pucker, Big Bowl, Squeeze, Breeze, Bell Malt, and more. Remove at least 20 labels, put them in an envelope with your name and contact. Drop them at any Bell Beverages depot or accredited distributor across the country. Voila! You stand a chance of winning fantastic prizes in the Bell Chill and Win monthly draws announced on TV, radio, and social media. Prizes include home furniture, appliances, hampers of Bell products, shopping vouchers, and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto in the final raffle draw. Remember, the more envelopes you drop, the more your chances of winning. Bell Chill and Win. Everyone is a winner. For more information, call 0544-335800 or 0544-335900. Follow at Bell Beverages on all social media platforms. T's and C's apply. Take note, Bell Beverages are now available on Jumia Ghana. Bell Beverages, refreshing the name. This advert is FDA approved. What's your beautiful? My essence and my energy. My natural glow and my confidence. My beautiful is being me. It's glow season, girls. Beauty month is back. Reveal your beauty with amazing discounts of up to 20% off on selected 400ml Nivea Body Lotion bundle packs in participating stores near you. Enjoy discounts galore with Nivea. Be you. Be beautiful. <laughs> Yo, 
You're welcome back. This is Duve on GH1 TV. Sex that we have on a first date. Is it ideal or not? First I was so confident saying, no, oh, no, dear and day. And then we came back and he says, you know, if after a first date, you start kissing on the lips and it leads to it to the air. I just apparently you have his, to go and draw his pastor was watching, so he wanted to impress his pastor, <laughs> and the wife told him that oh, daddy has gone to sleep, so now he's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gave him the information, but that was on a, a lighter note. But we've been talking about that. People think it worked for them in their relationships, others think not. But for me, if you're going to have sex, it's got to be awesome. So, Vicky, you met somebody you loved so much. The first day you had sex with the person, I want you to walk me through what this person <clears throat> did to you, with you, that you decided that, oh my God, till death do us part. This is the kind of man I want to enter me from the back, from the side, da, 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 da. in between my breast and uh, da, 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 da. sideways da, 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 da. and uh, contrave. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, Left I need a duvet. The only <laughs> name you would want to mention. You know when you are in love and you're getting an orgasm and I you need mention a his name? Take us through it. Oh, <laughs> I need da, 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 da. a duvet. Oh, Victoria, you're going to take us through it. Awesome. <laughs> Stop holding the ball. Stop. Yeah. You see, hey, she's holding she was, the she ball. She was going to hold yeah, the ball. She actually held it with her. Oh, so you've been yeah. holding the ball, all right? Mm -hmm. Vicky, is everything all right? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, breathe no, breathe I mean, it should be a nice moment. Moment. It should be, um, I should feel good and I should, it shouldn't be, you, you shouldn't be so much in a hurry. Mm. Do you get my point? You have to take it easy. And slow. Uh, and slow. Um, the romance should also be intact. Mm. You know, it should be on point. When you say taking the romance time, should be intact. Taking your time. Mm -hmm. Starting with a good pace. Mm -hmm. You know, caressing me, cuddling mm -hmm. me. Mm. You know, it makes me feel loved, mm. cherished, mm. and respected. Yeah. That's how... Every woman or maybe some women would want Most to feel women. like, you know, mm. let's have this and feel like, oh, after all, Kwanu, Obume, you get what I'm saying? Even after whatever we're going to do, I should still feel respected. They are only kasa in, you know, when yeah. having an affair. They are only kasa. How you? What did he do that amazed you? Was there something that he did and you were like, oh my God, wow, wow, wow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, don't you want to share? Yeah, wait, no, Vicky. I don't think I want to share mm. what I do with my husband on the air. It's so, it's so, um, um. Spiritual. It's Highly spiritual. Spiritual. Highly spiritual. Highly spiritual. Highly spiritual. Highly spiritual. Highly spiritual. Highly spiritual. Well. Mm. <laughs> I'm not married, so. <laughs> okay, so let me get this comment. Uh, Naya's love, GH1 TV. I think sex on a first date isn't bad at all. Because I, I'm sure she's trying to say, because I intentionally opt for it to confirm if I can stay a year or forever with it. So she is trying, she's coming from the angle of if the man, and then the Mm -hmm. And then also, if the man is sexually good or not, mm -hmm. so that's it. Like, so she would no intentionally hand... call for it and see if she can uh, live with it. Yeah, yeah. interesting, mm -hmm. isn't so, it? We'll be <laughs> First time, yeah. I guess uh, Victoria said a lot, but she eventually decided not to say anything. Bye, bye, bye. Because <laughs> you are going to play it for him too. <laughs> so, first time you were taking us through. <laughs> That awesome time you would never forget. Mm -hmm. That that amazing time you felt like a man indeed. And you would look at her and wonder if she's human. What did I just do? What just happened to me? Oh my God. Moments. Great sexual experience. I'm saying that sex on the first date, you say we shouldn't. But if you're going to do it, how do you want your woman to do you? It should be very respectful. First of respectful all. You know, sex. 
Yeah. Respectful sex, no. Me you wouldn't go to join the stretch. Yeah, that's it. How is respectful sex? Brown patron, person me you, treasure. Patron, but I'm name it trust uh -huh. now. <laughs> so, so, no, I, I, I'm saying respect. Patron, me fan shame. Me ham, patron, me debe shame. Me say me di kia. This is Jube. Yeah, Foster. So tell so, us, typically. Yeah, first of all, mm -hmm. a nice sex experience is dependent mm -hmm. on where you live. Okay. Wow, I say, say you don't go and out here. We need time. <laughs> Be petrol, so only time because you don't only time for me. But one quarter, I would take a chamber hall, be me if you near with your own key, I'll lock it. Dear, the week this one is for you. Tinipe here, but oh, oh, baby, I would tell you, you'll be net. Ah, now I say, we need dying, my brother, be fast. Before somebody knows, somebody comes, my bow, my bow, and now. I should dance a brand any pan is a man quite juma. Nothing way. So, but you see, it, it should be one that is very mutual mm -hmm, and yeah. very um, intimate. intimate. I, I love foreplay more than sex itself because mm -hmm. foreplay, no, na, a ye be beer. Like you're mm -hmm. saying, sex is much intimate than the sex. But then, oh, sex, nangas, oh, yeah, you don't concentrate on other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. Once a while, be one more day. This all by research. Yeah. I know. Oh, who's that? But who's that for people? Then it, 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 it looks like I, I would have to take this comment and then go for a break and come oh, back. Oh, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, you are on the way. I mean, don't oh, come okay. yet. Thank you. Don't come yet. Comparing our sex on the first date to continuous recent ones, my partner pretended. Miss Nancy. It's very, very funny. Oh, I wish you would pull it up so that we get the rest of the message. Says, Miss Nancy, it, it's very, very funny when you try to compare your first date sex to the now. Now the thing she does say, hey, hmm, she knows all the moves, right? Hmm. <laughs> it says that the first date sex and now, it looks like she pretended with the first one. Yeah. Mm. Now he has realized he's with a pro. <laughs> I experienced that. People, let's go for this break and uh, we'll come back. I guess this break is the sex position of the week. And I would tell you that just to show my appreciation, it is for every married couple watching us, especially Mr. and Mrs. in cancer. Victoria, when you get home, make sure that you put Concerta down and give him this. Tomorrow morning, I'll call for this course, sex position of the week. Take a look. <music> Sex position of the week. The bridge. Starting in missionary for this one is the best way to get it going. But instead of just lying flat, your partner while on their knees grabs your hips upward so they meet their hips. As they enter you, your back should be act a bit with your feet flat on the floor. This position provides both leverage for them to thrust you deeply, along with you being in control of how you want to wrap your clitoris against them for stimulation. It's basically a team effort and one that results in each person really enjoying themselves. So after this exposition, what I give to you every week is the erotic word or coat of the week. Just to enhance your sexual addiction, take a look. Erotic word of the week. Voyeurism. It is the derivation of sexual gratification from seeing the sex act, naked bodies and genitalia of other people. I love it. I love that. Uh, Mr. Baden says that first date sex should not be a big deal, especially if the partners have known each other to some extent through technology or communication. First date sex could also be as a result of strong conviction of love for each other. One of my dates, which was the worst, was that she was disrespectful virtually to anyone who came, we came across. From the car park to the restaurant, Whoa. when you have a disrespectful date, mm. according to this gentleman, uh, that was his bad date ever. Remember, sex is a bonding mechanism. So first date sex 
can help establish long-term relationship, especially if they live far apart. Far nice. that one, yes, if, if, that one if, is that understandable. If it happen, you know what I say, you know what I do. You know what I do. The long distance one, eh? Oh, no. There's sex. I said sex on the first day, dear. Yeah. You see, dear. You go do. Let's pick some calls. I'm sure that you are home. You have a question or a contribution. I'll pick a few calls tonight. Uh, last week, I was unable to. Tonight, I would want to hear your voice and know that you're watching us and we're impacting your lives and your relationships. So, the lines are activated wherever you are. Call in with your questions, with your contributions, and we're here to take it. So, you were on the way to come in. Yes. So, I'm saying that that sex the actual the the the, the good sex mm -hmm. or the is one that takes time long kissing caressing it takes time yes important you don't just rush to enter mm. why are you going mm. to mm. you take your time you 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 appreciate the woman's body mm. every inch of it do you tell her I, yes you appreciate it i was i didn't say no 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 if it it, the, it depends on the process you start kissing the neck. If the perfume is very good, you tell her you smell good. Your skin is soft. Oh, I like your breast shape. This is the breast I breast like. Breast shape. Oh, yeah. And now form. No, say it be a 32D and a 94F. 36 triple D. Okay. <laughs> very well in doubt. Good. So, you, you, you see, uh, uh, you, you talk softly. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, it is one that is very intimate mm. you, you 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 confess oh i like this i like that do you like it when i touch here do you like when i kiss here where do you want me to touch you know foster best mark is on the line from kumas hello best mark hello best mark yeah hello how are you yeah i'm fine how awesome are you, Miss Mark? I'm blessed and beautiful. Thank you. Is it a question or contribution? Yeah. yeah, I'm calling from Kumasi. Um, I wanted to say um, um, I met my partner on campus, but we didn't have a first date sex. But mm. after, like after three weeks time, the sex was very nice. Yeah, it was. Mm. Thank you. After three weeks. So, and uh, within that period, how many times did you meet each other? How many times did you meet each other within the three weeks that you had sex? Yeah, did you see each other often? Like every weekend. We, we used to go to class, so every weekend she comes over, she, do, she does sleep over. Ah, uh, it makes sense. Thank you. So, so, so. The best part is when you're your roommate, I'm going home. So. <laughs> yeah. Kwame is calling in from Dalsuman. Hello, Kwame. Hello. Oh, oh, I lost Kwame. Oh, Vicky, hmm, that sex that you would never, ever forget. Can you describe that to me? Hey, if I saw the in class, then... Oh, that feel sex. Free, feel free. I've called him. Okay. I've called him. <laughs> <laughs> that sex. Well, like you were saying, it should be... I mean, you didn't have that sex with him, so it's not possible about how... No, was... not all ca topic, no. Uh -huh. The topic I want to raise here. Uh-huh. And then me. <laughs> she's winking at me, begging me not to ask her the question. You are a big girl, and thankfully so, you are married. So yeah. Feel free. So like I was saying, um, foreplay. No, some people don't even know that you 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 end up like you know coming mm. when you have like the very fore, good foreplay. foreplay. When the foreplay is you good. can have an orgasm you, during yes, foreplay. Yes, you can have Keep an on. Orgasm. We're gonna have that orgasm after Nana. Hello, Nana. Hello. Hi, Nana. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? Ah, beautiful. Thank you. Is it a question or contribution? Uh, it's it, it's both. Go ahead, please. Okay. So, uh, even having uh, intimate conversations with me on a first date is totally eternal for me. Oh. There's this guy. I, I just started talking to, him, and then on the first day, he's like, "Okay, so what if you come and then we have sex?" And I'm like. Oh, I'm not coming. Yeah. It's just a total turn off. Turn off. Right after then, I feel it breaks trust. Mm. Just like Romano said. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's going to be difficult for the man to even want to trust you. Yeah. But yes, it, ha it has happened to me before. Mm. 
on a first date, mm-hmm. he got intimate, and then since then, I don't even take his calls anymore. Why? Were you embarrassed, or it was bad sex? I feel, I, I feel I've been it's given to use the word used. Okay, within the reason after getting intimate, I go home and he even bother to check on me. Wow. Oh, I mean, you must have, I mean, met a very yes. ungentleman so man. I want advice. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Thank you. There is a caller from the Volta reading. Hey, Victoria, you're before. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, Hello. 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 Yes, you're live on air. Hello? Too bad, mm. Victoria. I mean, so, uh, we were unable we, to we pick were, up. We were having a conversation. Yes. So like I was saying, you know, when the the foreplay is good, mm-hmm. then I know. You see, the lady just called and said mm-hmm. it happened to her before. Yeah. If afterwards you can't pick up the phone and say, hey, are how you are home? you doing? How are you feeling? I'm sorry about what happened the last time. You know, create room for the lady to even have a good impression Shame about you. Too. But you don't do anything of that sort and you, you, you still think you have a chance. I mean, it's, it's very But then it's obvious that the guy but didn't I, want we, to We're also that talking sex. about, you, you threw a question at me. Yes. So let me clear myself. Clear. We're talking about how I felt the first time. I, I'm saying that when the foreplay is good, mm-hmm. I feel so... Ooh. Yeah. And Kuma told him. Oh. Then you go like, I'm, 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 <laughs> I want to get to know this young man. Yeah. I mean, whatever feelings you get to express. And you're for. Oh, my Kuma told him. Yeah. Oh. And, and you're for because. Mr. Kansa, do too. Do too. Do too. Why are you going to go back? Oh, look at you. Tick tock, tick tock. I said, I mean. It yeah. should be it should be a good time. Just have a good time, time and me. make sure that you Obana know, Kuma Yes, in. Vicky, your last words. Why you can be found on social media? You have a lot of fans all over Ghana. So mm, 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 say mm, something mm, mm, beautiful to them Hello, and let's everyone. wrap up the show. How are you all doing? I know mm. everybody's watching me. Thanks so much for supporting me. I am on Instagram at Victoria Lebene Lebene and with double e. e and Victoria Lebene. Amazing content bringing yeah. you. The best of creativity mm. and voila. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Vicky. It was great having you on Duve. Hey, Foster. Hi, Miss. So, Nancy. sex on the first date, your last words. Well, sex on the first date. Mm. It's not too bad, but it's bad, but it's good. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's, it's bad, bad, but, but it's, it's good. good. <laughs> it depends. You see, there should be more sex on the first date can be knowing the person for a year. Yeah. And then you meet him the first time. Or, oh, I just met this person when I was trying to grab a drink. Mm. So the scenarios are different. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But then all I would say is that just don't, um, don't just have sex because you want to have sex. Let Make sex be meaningful. meaningful. Exactly. And so Indeed. know who you have sex with and know who you give your body to. Because mm. your body is the temple of Jesus. <laughs> So, I would end this conversation on uh, sex on the first date that the one who did it doesn't necessarily mean the person is a saint or a good person. The one who didn't do it doesn't necessarily mean that they are awesome anyway. You may have done it with somebody. Do not discard the person just because they chose to give the most important aspect of themselves to you, their body. If they, if they actually gave it to you, you should know that it is worthy and it meant something to them. And uh, when they give you their body, make sure you go out there, get some go slow ice cream, put it around here, let it melt down, start licking it, start eating it. Let them enjoy their real body, their human being. And whilst you enjoy them, Allow them to enjoy you. This is Duve on J TV. Same time next week. Miss Nancy, your star coach, your sex coach, the author of Steez. I will be in my element and I'll come to you. Mwah.
prophetic word 